We're here on Media Row at WWE WrestleMania 33 weekend in Orlando, Florida. Austin Aries, the man yes, with sir. the best package in WWE right now. It's massive. How you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah. Yes. How are you, you feeling going into WrestleMania weekend? I'm feeling good, you know, yeah. feeling good. It's it's a it's a long week, you know, you got to pace yourself. You got to mm -hmm. make sure you get your rest. Make sure you stay in the gym and yep. uh, keep get yourself prepared. But no, it's a good time. Okay. Uh, you mentioned on 205 Live this week, you address the fact you're on the, the kickoff show mm -hmm. at WrestleMania. It's your job to set the tone for the rest of the show and, and raise the bar for everyone else. Do you think that's a lot of pressure for you? Uh, I mean, I, I don't feel pressure. I, I, that's just what I do. Yeah. You know, that's what that's what I that's my mindset with whatever I'm given is to take it and try to elevate it. You okay. know, so. Um, and I think I, if anybody's followed my career, I've got a pretty good uh, track record of doing that. Absolutely. So, and then you put me in the ring with someone like Neville, who right now is uh, he's at a whole other level himself as far as what he's doing right now. You know, and, yeah. and I'm not going to take that. He's going to try to discredit me and say I'm not competition. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit here and lie back to him and say that he hasn't been amazing. He has, but. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my job is to go out there and just be that much more amazing. It was maybe one of the most unexpected call-ups from the main to the main roster for you. Uh, do you think it was your injury that fast-tracked you up to the, the cruiserweight division, or like, do you think it was in a way a bit of a blessing? Oh, I, I've, I, I've 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 joked around. I said, it, had I been able to predict everything that would have happened after uh, my injury, I would have broke my eye hole myself. Uh, six months before that, I would I would have fast tracked it. You know, uh, right. listen, everything happens for a reason, and I'm not going to try to figure out what would have or could have. Or the fact of the matter is, I got injured, and 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 somehow out of a, out of a negative situation came this positive, this great opportunity that has, you know I've been able to enjoy some success with. So, you know, right when I got hurt, you know, I I told Triple H uh, right off the bat, I said, hey, I said I don't want to disappear for six months. If I'm going to be out, like find something for me to do, mm -hmm. whether it's you know commentary. Uh, maybe a manager or something. You know, I, I, I don't want to be sitting on the sidelines. How did you land on commentary? Well, I, I think I think he remembered. He probably remembered me. You know, telling him that. And then when this 205 Live thing was coming about, and they were ready to have the debut, maybe it just was like, hey, here's an idea. Good fit. You know, this guy, this guy's injured, but you know, he he can, he can talk a little bit. So let's see how he does in this role. So, and it was a great opportunity. Do you have any? interview tips for me obviously you know i've got a lot of the main roster guys coming around the ring here at media row what, what, yeah. should, what, what should my stand be well, so, you know? so i think i think the biggest key is especially something like this what you notice is everyone basically and i understand that it's all to different to different stations but everyone's asking the same question right so i think what you do is right off the bat you come with something right out of left field okay that nobody's expecting right so then you got my attention I I go, mean, okay were this... you expecting me to say that you've got a great package you I've, I've, heard, heard I've, lot, I've, right? I've heard I've, I've heard i've heard that my package is phenomenal okay. yeah right. okay so so that sometimes just that you know yeah yeah, I would say that, or or sometimes turn it over and go. You know what? Tell you, why don't you ask me a question, and then and then you just switch the roles. Just okay. switch it up. Yeah, so anything no, you want to ask me? Yes, yeah. Miles. Uh, so Miles, I just have to ask you, uh, how do you get your hair uh, so so silky? And so, I mean, what kind of conditioner do you use? It's actually the secret is I have this like post shower like balm that you you kind of run your fingers through with it. It is kind of like an oily so, cream. Right. Thing. So so there you're for Miles. He's got this post shower palm balm. That he uses in his hair, it's yeah. got a, it's an oily secretion uh, that makes his hair uh, shiny and, and vibrant, just like Fabio. There you go, Austin Aries. Best of luck this weekend. Appreciate it. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Take care.